السلام عليك يا خيرة الله يا ابن خيرته السلام عليك يا خان الله وابن خاره والوتر الموتور السلام عليك وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليكم مني جميعا سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي الليل
وجرى في ظلمه وجوره عليكم وعلى أشياعكم برئت إلى الله وإليكم منهم وأتقرب إلى الله ثم إليكم بموالاتكم وموالاتكم بالبراءة من أعدائكم من سبيل لكم الحرب وبالبراءة من عشيعهم وأتباعهم إني سلم لمن سالمكم وحرب لمن حاربكم وبلي لمن والاكم وعدو لمن عاداكم فأسأل الله الذي يكرمني بمعرفتكم ومعرفة أوليائكم ورزقني البراءة من عدائكم أن يجعلني معكم في الدنيا والآخرة ثبتني عندكم قدم صدق في الدنيا والآخرة وأسأله أن يبلغني المقام المحمود لكم عند الله وأن يرزقني طلب أخضاني مع إمام هدى ذاير ناطق بالحق منكم وأسأل الله بحقكم وبالشان الذي لكم عند أن يعطيني بمصابي بكم أفضل ما يعطي مصابا بمصيبة مصيبة ما عاذمها وعاذم رزيتها في الإسلام وفي جميع السماوات والأرض اللهم اجعلني في مقامي هذا ممن تناله منك سنوات ورحمة ومغفرة اللهم اجعل محيايا محيا محمد وآل محمد ومماتي ممات محمد وآل محمد اللهم إن هذا يوم تبركت به بنو أمية وابن آكلة الأكباد اللعين ابن اللعين على لسانك ولسان نبيك صلى الله عليه وآله في كل موطن وموقف وقف فيه نبيك صلى الله عليه وآله اللهم لعن عبا سفيان ومواغيا ويجيد ابن مواغيا اللعنة أبدا العابدين وهذا يوم فرحت به آل زياد وآل مرضان بقتلهم الحسين صلوات الله عليه اللهم فضاعف عليهم اللعن منك والعذاب الأليم اللهم إني يتقرب إليك في هذا اليوم وفي موقفي هذا وأيام حياتي بالبراءة منهم واللعنة عليهم وبالموالاة لنبيك وآل نبيك عليه وعليهم السلام اللهم العان أفضل ظالم ظلم حق مغمد وآل محمد وآخر تابع له ولا ذلك اللهم العن العصابة التي جاهدت الحسين 
وشايعت وبايعت وتابعت على قتله اللهم العنهم جميعا السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي خلأت بفنائك عليك مني سلام الله أبدا ما بقيت وبقي النهار ولا جعل الله آخر العهد لذيارتكم السلام على الحسين وعلى علي بن الحسين وعلى أولاد الحسين وعلى اللهم خص أنت ولا ظالم بال ظالم باللأل مني وابدأ به وابدأ به أولا ثم الثاني والثالث والرابع اللهم لعن يزيد خامسا ونعن عبيد الله بن زياد وابن مرجانا وعمر بن سعد وشمرا وآل أبي سفيان وآل زياد وآل مروان إلى يوم القيامة الحمد حمد الشاكرين لك على مصابهم الحمد لله على عظيم رزيته اللهم ارزقني شفاعة الحسين يوم الورود وثبت لي قدم صدق عندك مع الحسين وأصحاب الحسين الذين بذلوا معجهم دون الحسين عليه السلام سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله والله أكبر ولله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا أشهد أن محمد رسول الله. الله صل على محمد وآل محمد. أشهد أن محمد رسول الله. أشهد أن علي الولي الله أشهد أن مولانا أمير المؤمنين والمشرقين علي الحجة 
صلى الله على سيدنا مولانا محمد وآله وسلم
Welcome to the MYF Mohara Majalis program. To ensure your health and safety during the COVID-19 pandemic, please watch and listen to the following guide so you know what to expect on arrival. Your health is our top priority. This guide and all our resources have been developed with guidance from global health experts. To ensure your well-being and safety, we've instituted the following safeguards and safety measures. One, mandatory registration. Register your attendance before arriving to the venue. Visit myfoundation.org.uk as this provides information for our contact tracing system. And remember, please do not come to the Majalis if you have symptoms. Two, health checks. Upon arrival, everyone will receive a non-contact temperature scan. Please be aware if you are found to have COVID-19 symptoms, you will be asked politely to return home and to watch the Majalis from the comfort of your own home. Three, follow the marshals. Follow the instructions given to you by the marshals wearing the high visibility jackets. Once you have parked up, you will only be able to communicate with the marshals in your zone. Four, social distancing. Everyone must adhere to social distancing guidelines of two meters between visitors. When leaving your vehicle, signal your marshal to approach your vehicle. Then, whilst moving across the site, you will always be accompanied by a steward. And remember, children must always be accompanied by an adult. For your own safety and comfort, we encourage you to bring your own snacks and drinks as well as any toys for your infants. Bring your own prayer mats if you will be praying on site. To ensure the health and safety of everyone at the venue, we must all commit to read and understand about the COVID-19 pandemic, self-certify our health daily, follow the processes and guidelines for social distancing, clean and disinfect areas used, practice proper hand washing and sanitizing, cough and sneeze into tissues or your elbow, ask if you are unclear about anything, and also, if you experience any symptoms, please stay at home. Thank you for watching the safety briefing. We look forward to hosting and welcoming you to the Majalis of Imam Hussein al-Islam in the most secure way possible. For more information, please get in touch via the methods below.
in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. All praise is due to Allah, whose worth cannot be described by speakers, whose bounties cannot be counted by calculators, and whose claim to obedience cannot be satisfied by those who attempt to do so, whom the height of intellectual courage cannot appreciate and the divings of understandings cannot reach. He for whose description no limit has been laid down, no time is ordained, no duration is fixed, and no eulogy exists. He brought forth creation through his omnipotence, dispersed winds through his compassion, and made firm the shaking earth with rocks. Salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajjal farajahum. Brothers and sisters, I'd like you all to please listen with your utmost attention to the following announcement. Muhibban al-Mahdi Youth Foundation has no political affiliations with any individual, organizations, or parties. We are here from the people to serve the people and to serve you on these 10 nights. If there's any issues or queries, we are your khuddam and we will help you wherever possible. Salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. We would now like to introduce the respected Hujjat al-Islam wal Muslimin Sayyid Hashim Musavi to give, a, to give a short talk on the month of Muhadam. So if you could please welcome him with the loudest of salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Salatu wa salam ala wa ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen. Habibillah al Alameen. Abil Qasim Mustafa Muhammad. Wa ala alihi al tayyibin al tahirin. Wa la'natullah ala a'da'ihim ajma'in. One of the questions that raised to all of us about the uprising of Imam Hussein alayhi salam in Karbala is that what this incidence of Karbala has to do with my life and why I have to mourn every year for those who are killed in Karbala. This question will raise to all of us maybe every year. In a nutshell, very briefly, we all know that the span of our life is very short. This journey is very short and everyone to enjoy this short journey and wants to live in a way that can, re I mean, reward from this, uh, can get the best reward from this life. On the other hand, because it is the first experience of our life and there are many unknown passes and many dangers in this journey, it is very important to have a road map. Unfortunately, throughout history, there are many individuals, groups, organizations that claim to have a reliable road map to help which can help everybody to reach you to the destination which is your eternal happiness. Today with the help of uh, cyberspace and social networks these people and climates of guidance can more easily present their roadmap for a better life. For example, such as living in a Western life. This needs a roadmap so some people can guide you to this like life. A person who follow a certain lifestyle 
For example, Western lifestyle or uh, American lifestyle or Islamic lifestyle, whatever. Subconsciously adjust many of his belief and many of his behavior according to this lifestyle. Now, if this lifestyle does not match with the Islamic lifestyle, then it does not necessarily lead him or leads you to the destination that God has promised us in the Quran and in the Hadith. We must be very careful not to make mistake in choosing the right road map and beacon of guidance so that we can move to our destination with confidence. One of those who has explicitly present an accurate and clear roadmap to all mankind, to all human beings, is the Holy Prophet of Islam. In so many occasions, he introduced this roadmap, this role model. He said, إِنِّي تَارِكٌ فِيكُمُ مَا إِنْ تَمَسَّكْتُمْ بِهِمَا لَنْ تَذِلُّوا أَبَدًا كِتَابَ اللَّهِ وَعِطْرَتِي وَأَهْلَ بَيْتِي وَإِنَّهُمَا لَنْ يَفْتَرِقَا حَتَّى عَلَيَّ حَتَّى يَرِدَا عَلَيَّ الْحَوْضِ He says, I left behind, I left for you two precious things, two important things for you if you hold it strongly, if you keep it strongly, never go astray. You never um, be misguided. One is the Quran, and the second one is my family. And these two should not be separated from each other until they come to me by the hold of Kawthar. Quran and Ahlul Bayt are considered as a roadmap. Because by holding this, by reading these two, you are not going to stray, you are not going to lose your way. Again, among the Ahlul Bayt, according to, again to the hadith of Imam, uh, hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Imam Hussein Alayhi Salam is the best roadmap. You can find the hadith of the Prophet, he says, Al Hassan. والحسين إمامان قام أو قعدا حسن and حسين both are imams whether they sit or stands or in other hadith the prophet says إن الحسين مصباح الهدى إن الحسين مصباح الهدى وسفينة النجاة certainly Imam Hussein عليه السلام is beacon of guidance an ark of salvation. So, according to these two noble hadiths, this great Imam is a perfect role model for humanity. So, what would be our responsibility? If they, this person is a perfect role model, and if we need this role model, what would be the responsibility? Then, we must create an opportunity to know him very well. Of course, his action during his life should be well analyzed. And his friendship and enmity with individuals and groups should be well introduced so that we can be friends with his friend and enemy and cut up with his enemy. All this recovery of Imam Hussein alayhi salam always should be alive. Life story of Imam Hussein salam should be alive and studied every day, just like the case of the Quran. Isn't it that we are asked to read Quran every day? We, because the Quran wants us to make it alive. But one of the most important steps that Imam took, that uh, took place during the life of Imam Hussein salam was the uprising of this great Imam against the tyrant of 
his time as Ibn Muawiyah, which should be considered the most important action in his life. If that is the most important action, now we can ask, if we ask ourselves, what is the connection between me, between my life and this uprising of Imam Hussein salam? Then we can answer that. We need a model, we need a roadmap to achieve a happy life because we are seeking, we are looking for our happy life. And according to the teaching of the Quran and the teaching of the narration and hadith, Imam Hussein salam, is one of the great roadmap or one of the best pattern and roadmap for our honorable life. So in, other, in order to be able to understand this roadmap well, this is the responsibility. We must pay close attention to his words and deeds, especially in the case of uh, Karbala in the uh, uprising of Ashura. So we can be guided to the right path by following of this example, the last word for this time. Today, if you as a young Muslim, if you ask yourself, if you have a question, do I have a duty in facing with a general attack on the religion of God? If you ask yourself, do I have a duty why the religion of God is under the general attack by enemy, do I have a responsibility? Then by examining the uprising of Imam Hussein alayhi salam, especially the incidents of Ashura, you will surely find a clear answer to this question. I hope this Ashura is going to give us a chance to be more familiar with Imam Hussein alayhi salam and more familiar with the action, with the deeds of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and we can get more lesson from this noble Imam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad.